नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं अभिजीत और आप देख रहे हैं एबी स्टडी सर्कल वीडियो में आगे बढ़ने से पहले अगर अभी तक आपने इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो इस चैनल को जरूर सब्सक्राइब कर लें और बेल आइकन को भी जरूर दबा दें क्योंकि जब भी नया कोई वीडियो आएगा आपको नोटिफिकेशन मिल जाएगा लेट्स डाइव इन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ए प्रॉब्लम दैट इज रिलेटेड टू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एवेलेबिलिटी एंड इिवर्सिबिलिटी एंड दिस क्वेश्चन This particular question has been asked in CSVT University exam thrice, first in 2010, then in 2013, and then in 2014. So the question is like this: Air expands through a turbine, right? That means the air, the uh, the turbine is doing some work. That is, the work is done by the turbine. We know that. Okay. So air expands to a turbine from 500 kilopascal at 520 degree Celsius to 100 kilopascal at 300 degree Celsius, and it says that during expansion, 10 kg per 10 kilojoule per kg of heat is lost to the surrounding, which is at 98 kilopascal and 20 degree Celsius, and it also says that neglect. the kinetic and potential changes and then it says that determine in per kg terms first the decrease in availability that is nothing but the change in availability okay the second one the maximum work and third the air reversibility so let's first uh, put out all the given things okay so uh, first we have the given things we will write as t0 that is the surrounding temperature that is 20 degree celsius and i will be writing it as 293 kelvin i mean i will be just converting all the temperatures in kelvin right so uh, the initial temperature is uh, t1 that is 520 degree celsius and it will be As seven ninety three Kelvin, and we have P one as five hundred kilo Pascal. We don't have to worry with this for this, as the unit is in kilo Pascal. And T two is how much? It is three hundred degree Celsius. That is nothing but five seventy three. Kelvin and P two is how much? It is hundred kilo Pascal. Okay. Now uh, the surrounding pressure that is P zero is ninety eight kilo Pascal. Okay. This is also given, and it says that neglect the potential and kinetic. Energy changes. Okay, uh, so let's first determine uh, your decrease in availability or change in availability. Okay, I am moving this screen a little bit upside so that we can get the space for writing. Okay, so uh, what is the change in availability? That is nothing but phi one minus phi two, and it as this question. is related to turbine and uh, turbine and where we can get a work output and uh, as it also indicates that change in potential and kinetic energies are neglected this uh, this uh, particular uh, problem is related to steady flow energy equation directly going for your uh steady flow energy that is the open flow system why i have said that steady flow energy equation because it indicates that the system is a open flow system so availability change for open flow system is how what availability change is nothing but h minus t0 s right for open flow for open flow okay 
so f uh, phi one minus phi two will be h one minus h two, okay, minus t zero s one minus s two. Now, what is this? This is nothing but it can be written as C P. I am taking out taking the bracket t one minus t two. H is nothing but C P. T right, so H one will be C P T one and H two will be C P T two and C P can be taken out of the bracket, so we will have this thing minus T zero and S one minus S two. Okay, now uh, as uh, what will be the S one minus S two? In our previous videos, we have seen that entropy change for ideal gas. We have uh, Discussed it in detail, and we have a video. If you want to see that video, please click on the I button, and I will be just writing uh, S one S two minus S one the change in entropy. Okay, entropy change uh, as a C P T two by T one minus R L N P two by P one. I will suggest you to see my that video where we have discussed about the entropy change for ideal gas. Then you can get a clear picture of how we have got this equation. Okay. Now, as it is uh, for us, it is S one minus S two. So we have to uh, change this by taking both side a minus sign. Okay. So from this. We can get S one minus S two as R L N P two by P one minus C P L N T two by T one. <coughs> Now let's uh, move further and let's put this thing. Here, okay. So uh, again, phi one minus phi two will be nothing but C P T one minus T two uh, minus T zero R L N P two by P one minus C P L N T two by T one. Okay. So C P for air is what one point zero zero five. Nothing to worry for H as it, H is small. That is in specific term. These are all in specific term because in the question itself it demands uh, to find out the things in per kg terms. If you see. It demands in per kg of air, so nothing to worry because it directly wants in per kg terms. So, okay, what is T one? T one is five twenty, and it is seven ninety three minus five seventy three. Okay, minus T zero is how much? Two ninety three, okay. R zero point two eight seven for air kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Ln P two is how much? This hundred by five hundred minus again Cp zero point one point zero zero five. Ln what is T two? It is five seventy three. By seven ninety three, okay. Right. Now, when you solve this whole thing up, you will get two six zero point seven kilojoule per kg, and this is the change in availability. Right. Okay. So. For the first part of the question, you have got 
the answer okay now uh for the second part we have uh, maximum work it wants right maximum work right and maximum work for a flow process is nothing but change in availability right phi 1 minus phi 2 then that means what we have got here the same thing will be appearing here also okay so this is the second answer for the second part of the question okay now the third part okay so for the third part uh, as the question let's uh, let's find out the actual work done right so for actual work done we have the the steady flow energy equation okay so we have the steady flow energy equation h1 plus c1 square by 2 plus g z1 plus q c v is equal to h2 plus c2 square by 2 plus g z2 plus w okay now see as the question says that neglect potential and kinetic energy changes so we will be omitting these two up okay so we are left with let's put this here so we will be having h1 minus h2 plus qcv sorry this is that is in whole term and qcv small will be in specific term so i will be writing at qcv okay now here we will be having w that is the what we want this is the formula which we get okay now what is h1 minus h2 it is nothing but cp t1 minus t2 okay cp t1 minus t2 and what is qcv see in the question itself if you talk about the question itself see in the question it says that during expansion during expansion 10 kilojoule per kg of heat is lost to the surrounding that means this turbine is losing heat right when losing heat that means your QCV will be minus 10 kilojoule per kg remember that this minus sign is because heat is lost right so let's move further okay so it will be minus QCV so from here 1.005 again 793 minus 573 bracket close minus 10 and your final work will be 211.1 kilojoule per kg this is the actual work which we have obtained this is the actual work now let's find out the irreversibility irreversibility what is irreversibility it is nothing but maximum work minus actual work and as you know maximum work is nothing but 260.7 and actual is 211.1 final value will be 49.6 kilojoule per kg and
and this is your final answer. Right. So, if you like this video, please press the like button, share with your friends and if you have any doubt, please comment in the comment section.